Here's a startling fact. As many as 83% of older people are wearing the wrong size shoe, usually either too short or too narrow. Why? Remember these? It's a garment bag. I put this one away decades ago with a dark suit and dark shoes for weddings and funerals. But times have changed, the requirement of formality is gone, and these clothes have stayed here in a time warp. Here's the shoes, Bass Weegeons, and you can tell they're old, they say, made in the USA. They're size nine and a half. I wore nine and a half size shoes for most of my adult life, but lately I found shoes to be smaller and smaller. And I blame the issue on manufacturers moving overseas and the lack of quality control. But I've gone from wearing a size nine and a half to a size 12. So let's see if these old shoes made in the USA still fit. They do not. You see, the problem is not with the shoes. The problem is with me. My feet have grown. When facing aging, I guess there are some known knowns. Your hair turns gray, unless you dye it like me. Your skin loses elasticity. You develop wrinkles and sags. Tendons become less elastic. We expect these things, but then I guess there are some known unknowns. The issue of older feet growing is something I had never heard about until it happened to me. And I'm not alone. The majority of older people's feet have grown as well. But most of them don't know it or don't want to acknowledge the issue, which is probably why the majority wear the wrong size shoe. But when you think about it logically, it makes sense that older feet grow. The muscles and tendons in the foot lose elasticity, just like the skin on your arms and face. The feet spread wider and lengthen. And this logical conclusion is borne out by the medical research. The issue is well reported in the medical journals. I guess foot specialists and gerontologists know that older feet grow. I just wonder why they haven't bothered to tell us. In fact, all older adults have foot expansion. With age, there's less fat in the heel and you feel rocks more. The arch falls and the feet lengthen. The foot, especially the forefoot, widens. You have poorer shock absorption. You have reduced ankle flexibility. You need more padding on the arch. You have increased pronation and a beveled shoe helps. And shoes are available that address all of these issues. Now, men probably don't have much of an issue with having larger feet. In fact, some may equate larger feet with having larger noses. But some women, on the other hand, have been raised with the impression that small feet are delicate and feminine. For them, having larger feet as they age may be challenging to admit. But the issue is important. The shoes you wear are literally where the rubber meets the road. Falls are the leading cause of accidental injury and death among older people. 30% of people over age 65 experience a fall every year. Improper fitting footwear contributes to the risk. Good footwear can help prevent falls. I encourage women to wear their clown shoes with pride. This is not an issue of fashion, it's an issue of safety and comfort. Now, this is a revision of a video from about a year ago. And in that time, two things have changed. First, my feet have grown another half size. Second, the number of shoe lines that address the challenges of aging feet has exploded. Before, it was essentially Ultra, Topo, and Hoka, but now almost all manufacturers make these shoes. In fact, I just saw an ad for a Skechers shoe that seemed like it might work pretty well for older feet. Almost every manufacturer has a shoe with a wide toe box and increased cushioning that should help with aging feet. And there's a shoe that will likely fit an older person best. This is a shoe with a wide toe box, often now called foot shape, as well as generous arch support and adequate padding. There's a bit of a debate if a maximal cushion shoe is best. Personally, I prefer a maximal cushion shoe, which is currently the trendy style. 
but there are those that say a lower cushion is better. And for them, there are many options like the Ultra Lone Peak. Also, shoes with higher sides provide additional support. Personally, I choose to wear low cut shoes around town for convenience, but I hike exclusively in mid cut shoes. Studies show mid shoes are more protective for aging feet. Now, like gray hair and wrinkling skin, a common characteristic of older people is resistance to change. I understand that fully. The houses in my neighborhood are turning over, but I don't want my old neighbors to move, even the ones I don't like. I'd rather have predictability and consistency of people I know rather than adapt to a changing world. And the same likely applies to many people and their shoes. But let me share my experience. I probably wore my shoes too tight for years. Hard to believe I would wear these for 10 hours a day. When I started hiking, I would complain about sloppy shoes that let my feet slide around a bit. I wanted shoes that fit like a glove, but that led to bruised toenails, corns, and calluses. When I started wearing properly sized shoes, my feet had room to expand. They spread and lengthened naturally and became much more comfortable. I gave my feet some room to slide around within the shoe on downhills and my comfort level increased. And a more generously cushioned shoe has eliminated the pain of rock intrusion on extended hikes. I've adopted the same style shoes for wear around town and I no longer have foot problems. The knowledge that older feet grow and that there are shoes that are better designed to fit an aging foot has been valuable to me. If you're still wearing a traditional shoe, I'd encourage you to first have your feet professionally measured and then try a pair of foot-shaped, well-cushioned shoes. Manufacturers like Ultra and Hoka have free shipping, free returns, and a 30-day free trial. You can even order two pairs one your regular size and one a half size larger to see how they fit. Perhaps they'll help you as much as they've helped me. The 30-day trial may be better than a walk around a shoe store as it takes some time to adapt to the new style of shoe. So that's it. The primary purpose of this video is to share the secret that older feet grow and it's completely normal and expected and to let you know the majority of older people currently wear the wrong size shoe, and you might want to ask yourself if that includes you. I hope this information is as useful to you as it was to me, and let's spread the word so it's no longer a secret that older feet grow. It's a normal part of the aging process. Thank you for watching.